I, I want to show you, um, I made these, this roll of towels. It's like paper towels, except you, they're made out of terry cloth. And I had this extra fabric that I've used on everything. I still had a lot left over, so I thought I'd go ahead and make these towels. I bought this terry cloth because the reason I didn't use old towels, you can use old towels uh, instead of buying the terry cloth, but um, I bought it because the towels that I have are just, they were just too thick. And so I just researched and I found this terry cloth and it, it comes by the yard. And um, so I went ahead and got some to, to make this and with whatever left over, I'll just do something else with it. Um, I think I'm going to make, I already have an idea what I'll make, maybe I'll show it. But, um, so I just made these squares and then you can use them instead of paper towels. It'll save on your paper towels or if you just want to clean the refrigerator or wipe something up, you just um, use these. Let me snap them back together and... I'll show you how I did it. I've already made these. You know, I've made, uh, I think these are 15. That's all the fabric I had. Uh, I made them 10 by 10. And the reason I did that, actually they'll come out probably nine and a half by nine and a half. The reason I did that is because the fabric came uh, 60 wide. So I went ahead and cut in 10 inch square so I wouldn't have to worry about excess. And when you snap them together, just snap them on the right end. You know, the 10, 10 inch with the 10 inch. So what I'm going to do is, I've cut this, you know, because I had to straighten it out so it came out, you know, I cut the, it was not straight. So I cut it, and so I'm going to lay it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on top of the other one. Let's see if I can bring you over here. I don't have an editor or anybody to help me. So, maybe you can see that, and... What I'm doing is I'm just going to lay it on top of the other fabric. And see, I have this little bit to cut off because it's not exactly the same. And then I'll show you how to snap them. So I'm putting that, and then I'll get my little... I'm just going to get this small square. And I'll just line them up. And cut the excess off. So they're the same, it's a square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna find the pretty side. I just, whatever pretty side you want, cause it's both, they're both pretty, but one's a little bit more um, fuzzy. I like the fuzzy side to be out. So what you'll do is just put them facing together and then just pin them together. And I pin it because that I don't want that terry cloth to, to move while I'm sewing and I didn't clean my sewing machine since I did the other so I hope it'll work good and then all that dust gets inside there inside the sewing machine and should clean in between I usually do but I got busy doing something else and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pin it all the way around and then leave I pin I put a couple pins on one side to remind me to leave that part open so I can turn it. So I'm just going to pin a little bit. I usually don't, I don't use pins too often, but for, you know, if I know something's going to move or a chance of something moving, I don't want it to move. So, okay, so I've pinned it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to sew quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. I'm going to start at this, just below this pin, and then I'll stop just enough to get be able to get my hand in there. You don't really need that big of a um, space to leave open. So I'm going to move you over here and I'm going to turn my machine on. Oh, look, I left a towel over here that I finished and I didn't put any snaps on it. I didn't see it. Okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and just use a red thread that I already have in here. And so I'll start here. And I'm going to set machine, my machine at like three and a half, 3.5 stitch, only because it's a little thick. I use my quilting foot. I use it just about everything. And I'm just going to leave it on there. And so I'm going to sew quarter inch all the way around. And then I'll sew a couple times of back and forth here. about a quarter of an inch from the end, turn it, take my pins out, I really like this terry cloth, it's very soft and thin but it's strong and it feels really good quality. So these cows should last for a long time. And I'm gonna cut this little thread here. See that moved a little bit and it didn't come to the end, but that's okay. I like the quilting foot because this is a little bit thick and it won't move more, as much. Bundle up, bunch up. And then I'm coming to the end. Oh, did I run out of thread? I ran out of thread at the bottom. Let me put that. Every time I do a video, I run out of thread. I'm just gonna use this white. It doesn't matter, it's just an extra, an extra towel. Put my bobbin in. have that little thing there to to thread my needle but oh, I just have the hardest time with it I don't know how to do it okay so I have to go back where I stopped here ran out of thread okay so there we go I'll just go back and forth a little bit to knot that So I'm going to finish here. So I'm going to stop right before it. And then I'll go back and forth a couple once or twice. So it won't come loose when I'm turning it. There we go. I'll pull these pins out. And then what I'll do now is I'm going to cut the corners. husband helped me with the last ones I just cut the corners and he flipped them over for me but um, so 
here's what we're going to do. I also, the last on these others, I did iron them after I've turned them to make them nice and flat. But since I didn't set it up and it was last minute to do this, I'm just going to flatten it out as much as I can and then I'll show you. Okay, there we go. So we flipped it, very easy. Let me get my, my knitting needle. I don't knit anymore, so I kept the needles just for this. So I just use, push on the corners a little bit. Sometimes it might go through a little bit, but it doesn't, just don't push too hard. There we go. So I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. Look how pretty it is, it's just so pretty. Okay, so we have this part we have to turn in where we flipped it, and I'm just gonna, usually I get the iron and I'll flatten that out, but it seems to do okay. I'm just gonna pin it closed. Let me look at it and see how deep it goes. Make sure when you flip it, you're gonna catch it with the machine when you sew over it. So I'm gonna sew. Mm-hmm. And I'll just pin it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew a quarter inch, probably a little bit less than a quarter inch around to be able to make sure that I catch that opening. And I'm gonna use my red thread. I can't believe I'm doing this. But it's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna sew all the way around. Do this just so it won't hit the camera. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. You know, when you get to this point, you can do your decorative stitch or something, you know, to go out to decorate instead of just a straight stitch. But for the sake of time, I'm just going straight stitch. bit thick there I don't know if it's uh, if it's because my I didn't clean my machine or it's not that since it's not really that clumpy but okay so I'm almost through here okay I'm through that's it I don't usually use plastic snaps but I got a I found a really good deal Line, and I've got these all of these snaps, all different colors, and I've never used plastic snaps before, so I wanted to try it, and then I found that really good deal. So, oh gosh. okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the red snaps on the. I'll go ahead. Oh. 
since I already have the red package open, I'll do these, and then I'll do the blue one later. Okay. So what you do with the snaps is, what I did is, let me show you. What I did is I put the snaps on both sides. That way it'll make a roll. So on one side, on the top, on one side, since they're all the same all the way around, you lay it and you're going to have the snap cover on top. And then on the bottom, you'll have the other, both sides the same. And let me show you what I did here. I have two of those. And I'm going to get four of the top the cap. I don't know what they call that top part of it. Four of these. And I'll show them to you. So you're going to have two I guess what you're going to call these is the the male the male part of the snap. You have two of those and here's the female because this will go inside one and then here's the ones with this pin. You're going to have four of those. You're going to use four. Okay, so what we're going to do is, just like this one, I'm going to throw an extra one down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one since it goes with the other one. What I'm going to do is, I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm going half inch, about half inch. And then I'm going to put a hole in. What I did was I to measure it sort of even. I put my thumb there and then just like in the middle, poke a hole. It comes with, the snaps came with this and it came with this. And then it came with a little screwdriver and sort of a little hammer. But you don't need those. Okay, so this one side, I'm going to do the same. They're both going to have the male. I'm going to put the male on both sides. So here is one. I put the snap on top. And here's the male part. And I'll put that on top. And kind of push it in a little bit. And so you get this, this little tool. And so this black part is for the cap. And so you just line it up. And then you just squeeze it and it pushes it together. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to put the cap in. Here's the other male. Underneath. And then put these together and snap. It's, you don't have to snap really hard because I think if you snap way too hard, then it's going to squish it and it's not going to really, it'll still work probably, but I think it'll kind of mess up the snap. Okay, so this is one side with the snaps on top, okay? So the other side, the snaps will be at the bottom and the female part on top. So, 
we'll flip it over poke another hole in the bottom because the snaps are at the top we're going to put it at the back poke the hole put the snap in okay here's the female part this open part goes at the top you just kind of push it in you line it up and squeeze okay and it pushed it okay so now the next one snap on top put the cap The, the cap goes on top. Here's the female with the open part out because that other part will go in it. Kind of squeeze them a little bit just to stay. Line it up and squeeze. So now, just line these up. We'll just line these up. Let me find the. And then you just snap them together. Let me see. I have the wrong side. There we go. And I'll snap these onto my roll. of towels here we go I'll see if I can find a link for the the snaps and the this towel below the video for you to see but it's a really easy project and it's gonna save you a lot of money so you don't have to waste on paper towels but here they are thanks for watching